It's not very often we do breakfast, lunch, and dinner all in one video, but today is a special day. And it's a special day because of what's behind me. Max, can you see it? No, you're blocking it. Totally? Your head. Okay, good. How's that? How's that? Ladies and gentlemen, behind me is the a brand new Traeger Flat Rock. Flat griddle. Oh, I know. You're used to them uh, and they're pellet smokers. Uh, that's not a pellet smoker. There is no wood involved in that. It's gas, it's flat, and it's fantastic. We're gonna have a good look at it. Then we're gonna make three things on it that you might not think about making on something like that. But we are because we can and because they're gonna be freaking delicious. Here we go. Okay, but before we get started, do I have some real fun? You, yes, I'm talking to you. You could win that, the brand new Traeger Flat Rock. All you have to do, stay tuned to the end of the video. I love a tease. When you're known iconically, if that's even a word for one type of product, and then add a completely different category line, people are gonna wonder what's up. But I say wonder no more, because the Flat Rock is gonna make everyone happy. My first impression, not that looks are important, is that it's definitely pretty. But from a practical standpoint, like all their new smokers, it has the built-in rail system for adding the pop and lock accessories, like hooks and baskets. Also practical are huge side shelves that can fold down for storage, the easy to access grease and ash keg, and a fuel gauge that shows how much gas is left so you don't run out in mid-cook like I've done way too many times. The large cooktop itself is made of carbon steel that's been intelligently recessed not to only keep wind from messing with the flame, but also uses 28% less propane than standard griddles because of it. And I say hurrah for that. But it's what's under the hood that are my favorite features. There's three large U-shaped burners that give you tremendously even cooking all across the deck. And those burners are separated by heat shields that allow for independent temperature control. That means your gently cooking eggs in one zone won't be ruined by high heat sneaking over from the zone beside it. Fantastic. And finally, the attached always there hinge lid is truly a welcome addition because a griddle with a lid that you have to set down on the ground or go looking for is a pain every time you want to use it. But enough snooping around already. It's time to cook and we should begin with breakfast. And breakfast begins like this. A little bit of oil, pretty hot. I'm gonna turn it down a little bit. And now I'm making little meatballs with Italian sausage. So this should be simple, little guys. And they're just gonna cook. And if they're slightly different sizes, that's, that's slightly okay. You don't have to worry. Get these guys on. So these guys over the next few minutes are just going to get turned. A little salt and pepper. Oh, I'm so happy with this. As I was thinking about what I wanted to cook on the Flat Rock, I like the idea of a slightly lighter breakfast. And look, of course it's huge. Of course you could do a jillion pancakes and sausages and bacon and stuff like that. This is breakfast, but it's with a little bit of a twist to it. So we throw a couple other things on. Down here in the middle, we can put some tomatoes. And these guys, we just sort of want to blister up a little bit. Oh, they're gonna be fantastic. And over here, some onion. I don't think you have any idea where I'm going with this, and that makes me happy. That makes me very happy. We're gonna cook everything here, take it off, build it over there. Look at these guys. I got one more thing that has to go on, so I better make some room for that. Blister tomatoes has one of the great joys in life. And the last thing, there's a couple big handfuls of baby spinach. Oh, it's gonna be great, it's gonna be great. Let this wilt. I'm pretty happy where the onions are. I'll give them another maybe minute. Spinach wilting, tomatoes. Look at this, starting to bust a little bit. Liquid coming out. Great, onions, everybody. It's a joyous day here on the Flat Rock. Season the spinach. All right, we're almost there. Let me do two eggs. Hello. Hello, salt and pepper. We're living well, boys. We've done a good thing here. You can throw the lid down if you want. It's the beautiful part. The lid is always here. Give them about a minute and we're building. And eggs are beautiful. By the way, notice how things aren't sticking. That's because I seasoned it the right way. Everybody seasons it the right way. Just make sure you season it. This gets built into a beautiful bowl. You won't believe it. Come on, check that out. It's a good start, but it's not the best we can do with it. So let's try it. We take our bowl, and into the bowl goes one of my favorite things in the world, some really delicious, non-fat Greek yogurt. And we just do this. Okay, now we add our components. Put some spinach along one side. 
fucking great. Sorry for the swearing, but I'm just really sort of in love with everything that's happening here. This is my kind of breakfast. I don't know if it's your kind of breakfast, but look, I think this is something we should all think about having more often than not. Am I getting two eggs in here, boys? One, two, I like this. And hey, what the meatballs? Son of crazy biatchness. Look at this. Some tomatoes, some tomatoes. Okay, just a couple other things. I toasted up some pine nuts. Nice crunch. I like a little red pepper flake for a little hint of heat. We drizzle with some nice extra virgin olive oil for some beautiful added richness. And finally, just a little parsley. Mostly on the Italian sausage meatballs. Oh, boom, look at that. Come on. And, I mean, come on. Where do you start? You start with everything. Oh, but how about, there you go. That made the start for me. You get a meatball, you break some yolk, you get some of that richness, maybe a little onion and spinach and some pine nut. And now a little yogurt and tomato, like that. There's my bite. The meatballs, crispy on the outside, tender on the inside. The yogurt, mm. a little red pepper flake. I'm not sure what the Traeger people had in mind for being cooked on the flat rock. I'm not certain it was this, but holy shit. This needs to be something you're trying. But you know what? We can't stop here because we're doing breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Ready for lunch? Let's go. You know, lunch is sometimes a forgotten meal, but we were trying to think, what would be a good way to christen lunchtime on the Traeger Flat Rock? We thought a steak sandwich would be nice. A big ass A5 Wagyu steak sandwich on the Traeger Flat Rock. Now we're talking. So all it gets is a little bit of BFF, because always, right? There's a tiny bit of oil on here, but there's enough fat, doesn't really need it. We'll put it right in the center because it is the center of attention right now. And down we go. And what's my goal, Chance? Don't fuck it up. Don't fuck it That's up. That's my goal. Couple other things while we're here. A little oil. And I like the idea of some red pepper. Probably enough, but I got these pieces all cut. And we'll just give them this guy over there. And some bread. I've got this beautiful, good country bread for here. So we'll do this on this side. It's going to be good. Let's see how we're doing here. Oh. No, nah, not quite yet. A little bit more. Peppers, how we doing? Nice. All right, I think I'm gonna flip the steak. Oh, God. Just trying to flatten it out so it cooks evenly. Not squeeze out any of the juice. I just want it flat. Okay, bread's ready, it's coming off. Beautiful. Check the peppers, fabulous. Still a little bite, that's what I want. These guys are coming off. My little Wagyu is, oh, not so little. My not so little Wagyu is ready, time to build. First up, a little sauce for our sandwich. And I'm making it very simple. I'm going with two ingredients. One, Japanese mayo to honor the country where the Wagyu came from. And a country close to it, China with some chili crunch. Oh, damn it. A little extra oil, come on now. How good is this gonna be? Forget the, the steak, just this. Just that gorgeousness. All right, now the steak. Oh, God. God, I hope I didn't fuck this up. God, I hope I didn't fuck this up. Feels all right, shall we? Okay, so now for those of you that are looking at it going, it's too rare, this is what you want with Wagyu. What do you, what's your face? Oh, it's just very rare. No, oh, it's gonna be amazing. Oh God, oh no. This is something special. This is how it should be. Any more than this and you've ruined it. You have to maintain the integrity of the fattiness. Let's push this off to the side and now we build. Here's our bread. It's our bottom bread. And now this chili crunch mayo. I'm just so excited about this part. I don't know why I've not made this before, but so it's lunchtime. So we gotta have something green in here, right? Just because. So just a little baby arugula. Nice. A couple pieces of the red pepper. Oh goodness gracious. And now this, a big ass pile fucking on top. Oh my God. And now that. That is something to write home about. All right, let's, uh, let's do what must be done here. Oh. This must be done. Holy God. I'm telling you, this is what you want. This is what you want. It's decadent, it's luxurious, it's crispy on the outside, it's super tender soft on the inside with that crazy fatty Wagyu. The chili crunch is fantastic. It's over the top and it was the right way to 
Chris in lunchtime on the, the Flat Rock. But don't stop here. I know you want to stop here. You just want to eat the whole thing. Don't stop here because next up is a very fun dinner thing that you won't see coming. I'm not telling you what it is yet. Just to wait and see. And we make dinner now. I love a steaming flat rock. All right, here's what we're doing. This you would recognize as chicken thighs. Correct? Correct. Season. Our BFF. Salt, pepper, garlic. And while we're here, let's give it just a little smoked paprika. You don't even know what we're making yet. Nobody knows. Only I know, and that's all that matters. And now our oil comes like this. We give it a little spread out, and on we go. That's what you want. Look, I know I've already said it, but the beautiful part is the size and that you can do so much all at once. So of course this side is gonna get seasoned. I think you're gonna like what we're doing here. Beautiful. While that's cooking, I've got onions that are going on this side. A little bit more oil, and these will look like this. The onions are softening, chicken's cooking, a couple other components, but not till we build what we're building. I'm being so coy, I can't believe it. Let's have a look at our chicken. Oh, fantastic. All right, we can flip everybody. I might come back again, but I'm liking where this is headed. Perfecto. The onions are at a nice spot, but we want to make them boozy onions. In fact, we want to make them bourbon onions. So watch this move. We get everybody in a nice little section. We come along with our Traeger lid, like this guy. Beautiful. And we were wondering what this hole is for. Chance thinks he knows, and I think he's right. It's a steaming lid. We put him on top, and now I'm gonna give him some bourbon. But the genius of this, if it's what it's for, is that you now take a bottle and go right in. Keep everything in there. Oh, the bourbon's escaping. Very nice, very nice. We think, we don't know. Let's see what the onions have done. Oh, you smell that. Let's give them a little BFF. Ready, let's take them off. All right, we let the chicken finish. We go over to the board and we build what we're making. I'm not telling yet, I am not telling. There's our chicken. And by the way, just as chicken goes, a quick perfect little bite. Mm, all right. We tend to grill a lot. You forget how good flat top chicken can be and it's fantastic. But this we need in small bites. Should I tell you what we're making? That was not rhetorical, but I'll yes, do it anyways. Yes, yes. yes, we're making a pizza, but a braided pizza. So just hang on, get your chicken cut up. Oh shit, I'm being rude. Max, chance? Thank you. You're welcome, mm. oops, sorry. Right? Mm. Thank you, Flat Rock. I should be thanking me, I suppose, I made it, but I'm working with good equipment here, so. Okay, when you got what you think is probably enough, and I haven't done this for some time, so I'm gonna be guessing it a little bit of it. Like, everything Traeger wants. Oh, Sam's guessing about how much he needs to go in his recipe. Well, we're gonna be fine, guys. So let's now get this into a bowl. But I think when you see how I'm gonna cook this pizza, this braided pizza, you're gonna be impressed. Remove this, we wipe this, and here's what we're using. Defrosted puff pastry. Yes, yes, I can't wait. This is how it comes. It comes in these, it comes in this little trifold. I did mean to bring something to roll it out. Uh, I have this, watch. I just wanted a little bit bigger. So a little bit of flour, oh, it works perfect. Use anything, use what you got. By the way, who the hell needs a rolling pin when you got this? So watch how this is gonna go down. Remember our line was sort of like this and like this. So I'm gonna now make like one inch cuts or whatever that is. What is that measurement, Max? Yeah, three quarters of an inch, maybe? You went to college. So we do this all the way down the side, like that, and then we do the same. And, and we try and be even, try and do the exact same number that you've done. Everybody good with this? Of course you are. We're gonna add the following to the chicken. A couple big tablespoonfuls of barbecue sauce and about a cup of Monterey Jack cheese, shredded, and this we will mix. And when you got this mixed nice, remember our onions? We'll put a little bit of our onions, our boozy, bourbony onions. And now the chicken will go on top, all the way down, nice and even. Everybody's taking home some extra chicken and making one of these in your own individual domiciles. Okay, You're a domicile. your mom's a domicile. All right, now a little bit more cheese right down the middle. Now we're gonna do this. This guy we try and stretch out and bring a bit, but now this first layer comes over and this guy will help him stay in place. Do you see where this is going? Now you just repeat all the way down. Doing a beautiful job here, guys. Nice. Love it. Everything just sort of covers itself up. And if this is not perfect, it's rustic. And if it's not perfect, it's what pretty much happens all the time here. And the best part 
I think, is how we're gonna cook this. Because if you think we're leaving the flat rock out of the cooking process for this part, you'd be sorely mistaken. Just tighten up this little end, tuck these guys under. Now we're gonna give it a little brush. We have an egg that's been beaten with a little bit of water. We love what we've done here. We love even more how it's gonna be when it's finished. Do an even job. This will help give it a better color when you're all done. I'm gonna put this on a little board and let's go back to the flat rock. All right, so check this out. It's on its way to 350. I have the center burner turned off. Uh, comes off, I could use the glove or something. We'll slide this guy on, beautiful. We'll shut the lid and we'll come back in about, oh, 30 minutes. And after about 30-ish minutes, there's our little friend. Wow, let's see if we can get him off. Yeah, we can. So let's do this. What do you think, boys? By the way, now that you know to do this, you can stuff it with anything you want. Should I cut a slice? I'm just going right here. Oh, let me see. Puff pastry is really great. It's one of the great things in life that you can make your own, but I think it's complicated. This on the other hand though, oh, you hear the crunch? It's not complicated. The onions, the boozy onions, the chicken, the, ugh, come on now, come on. Does everybody smell their food before they eat it like I do? Because you should. Oh my God. It is so hot, but it is so good. You absolutely get that whiskey and the onions. Absolutely. It's not over sauced. And that's a really important part. I feel like sometimes barbecue sauce is way overused. Light, crispy exterior, beautiful inside. It looks fantastic. Make it in advance and just reheat it. It's just, it's so good. Dinner. <sighs> Who knew? Who knew on the flat rock? So look, I'm pretty certain the Traeger people with their pellet smokers didn't think about doing this a couple of years ago. Or maybe they did a few years ago. I don't know who the person was at Traeger that in a meeting one day said, you know what? We're all about the wood pellets, the smokers. Let's do something flat with gas. And you know half the room was probably like this. Hey, 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 don't talk like that around here. Well, guess what? I'm telling you, they did something really good really good check out the link below hit the subscribe button don't eat the same thing all the time and cook it on a flat rock it changes everything everything all right what do you have to do to win the flat rock behind me Okay, not that one, a brand new one. But wait, not just that one, because you're also gonna get the Flat Rock Grill cover. You're also gonna get the essentials kit with squeeze bottles and spatulas and the ultimate smash burger kit. Oh my God, who doesn't want this? Everybody does. I'm not gonna throw it because it'll break something. What do you have to do? Max, what do they have to do? Max, come over here and tell them what they have to do. The person. Wait, Max, everybody. <laughs> Fuck Max. The person that gets the most of their friends and family to subscribe to this channel and can prove it to us with either a picture or a screenshot or something or a video? video. Sure, yes. Hashtag Sam the Cooking Guy on Instagram, on TikTok, on Facebook. Get your friends and family. Just go to their computer and subscribe them when they're not looking. Ladies and gentlemen, Max, by the way, when we choose, we are not going to reach out to you and have you send us money for this because it's free 99. That means free, no dollars involved. We'll say your name out loud in an upcoming video and then you will have you reach out to us. Got it? Hashtag Sam the Cooking Guy and that and the stuff I showed you could be yours.